buck up, buck up, buck up, buck up, buck up, buck up. <laughs> you know the deal. What up guys, so not much videos lately, I had super busy last week, I am now certified personal trainer, so... And what else happened last week? Well, I will tell you, this happened yesterday. Niggas stole my bike! Niggas stole, stole my bike! <laughs> Sorry about that joke, it's not... You you get it, it's, it's a... It's a it's a joke, it's a joke. But anyway, some fucking wankers stole my bike yesterday when I was at the gym. My bike all gone. So, to be honest, I was getting a little bit mad. The funny, the funny thing about this is that this is the second time my bike has been stolen within a year. So, I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to it. Bikes been... My bike's been stolen left and right, so no big deal, but to be honest, I was getting full-on victim mentality going on yesterday. I was like, why this happened to me? Why the, why the hell this happened, happens to me again? Blah, blah, blah. Feeling like a complete shit cunt. Negative as fuck. The key point here is, it is what it is. You can't change it, but you can change your thoughts. And how you see about the thing and then I'm just realized like my god my life is so awesome I'm I got money to ab to able to afford roof over my head to afford good delicious vegan food every day I'm healthy my fitness is really good when this happens and you start to think like a victim it only brings you negative thoughts it doesn't bring you anywhere so the faster you can move on start thinking about that there is still so much more work to be done whole planet almost to be turned vegan so many more animals to be saved so many more bananas to be eaten so many more flips to be flipping so many more kicks to be kicking so much more sex to be had and all of the amazing stuff in life so don't let these little things these material things to bring you down when you think about it this is the probably the most amazing time to be alive in a whole history of humankind when you think about it, we got the internet, we got it all, we got tropical fruits in Finland, we, are, we can travel everywhere, we can make money online, we can focus really on the things we are passionate about, what we like to do, so it's just a bike, it's just material things, so it is what it is, move on, and everything happens for a reason probably, because last time my bike got stolen, I got a better bike, for a cheaper price, so I don't know what happens now. Maybe, maybe the wanker who stole my bike, maybe he needs to feed his children. He's poor as fuck, so he he got to do these things to be able to afford even some food for his children or whatever. I hope he gets more out of it. I will probably get a new bike soon. No big deal. I hope if you are watching this video. And you got my bike. Damn you, guy. Don't stole people's bike. That's wrong. That's wrong. But anyway, what we gonna do today? And if I look severely malnourished in this vlog, don't worry about it. I had some little stomach bug yesterday and the day before. And I didn't eat much. I didn't throw up or anything. But I just... I was... I didn't feel hungry at all. So, I'm a little skinny. Skinny fat, skinny right now, but I hope I got energy to drain um, um, and I'm gonna carp the fuck up today, so... I don't usually drink too much juice, but today I need the calories so I can go training. So, juice is fine, it's fine. Not the best option in my opinion. Smoothies are better get the fiber but some orange juice is just fine thank god i still have my granny bike 
This is awesome. This is no nigga wanna steal this bike, even though it's fucking awesome bike. Vegans are weak and protein deficient. <laughs> that was so good session. I I feel so much better now after that. Damn, that feels good. Positive thoughts and fitness. That is where it's at. And when you focus on those things you will feel absolutely amazing so beautiful <sighs> i mean these are the best feelings about life really are but i'm starving right now so you know the deal honeydew melon i love them this one is so sweet mm. So good, yeah, hope you have amazing day as well going on, whatever you're doing. Damn, so good, so good. Really nice weather outside, bud. I'm gonna stay in, drink my juice and do some work. Sweet. I think it's the time to clean this fucking garbage up, so might as well do it now. All done. Yeah, yeah me. Yeah, good job. Let's cook dinner now. Oh, here we got dinner going on. Pretty damn usual dinner for me. We got some starch, basmati rice, really like it. We got one and a half of avocado because I had this laying around here. Then we had some tofu block, block of tofu. One broccoli, some tomatoes and some spring onions. And gonna put some cilantro top of it all, plus some spices. So this is pretty damn usual for me. Really high in carbs, but it still has plenty of fats and protein. High in micronutrients and vitamins. Don't fear the fat, don't fear the protein, don't fear the carbs. Eat them all. And yeah, looks pretty damn good. So. We will see again when I'm done cooking this beautiful food. Yeah. Okay. Plate 
Night One. Looking pretty damn good. I'm also gonna be having having some leftover tortillas, corn wet tortillas. So a lot of eating to be done, but it has to be done. More. Ah. It has been absolutely amazing day for me. Taking in consideration that how I felt this morning, I felt like a biggest shit cunt there is, the biggest loser. I felt so unmotivated to do anything today, but I got up and mood follows action. Mood follows action. That is so real. That is so goddamn real that mood follows action. This day turned out to be really uplifting for my mood. Bye!